What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds. Now Halloween is upon us and I thought I'd build for you guys a spooky haunted mansion. For me the word haunted mansion always conjures up a American Victorian gothic mansion such as this one right here. So I've chosen to stick with the Second Empire style and my base for this actual build is known as the Vale Mansion. It's from Missouri over in the US. I think it's from a town called Independence. Now this was built in 1881 in the Second Empire style out of red brick and it has such a foreboding imposing look to it that when you stand in front of it or even just look at it on Google Maps you feel terror run down your spine. I wanted to capture that with this building here so I made sure it felt absolutely gigantic, wanted to make the windows as tall as possible and give it spikes everywhere so it carried on having that gothic look to it. I've gone for my usual sort of take on these American houses with the blackstone roof here as a really nice mansard roof. Uh, for the walls I've gone for a mixture of jungle planks along with jungle wood just to give it a nice sort of deep colour to it. Now this colour I've chosen because the landscape itself is going to have this really nice strong autumnal feel to it. Just building in the driveway now along with the actual rest of the gardens I wanted to give it this huge sprawling landscape to sit in with lots of custom trees some set to dead some also set to a nice autumnal colour. Now I've done this just by using a brush in world edit and I think it does a really nice job with actually making that look perfect. So we're going to go through and add a bit more to this but also I need to change the biome from this beautiful plains to a nice badlands and you get this lovely dead colour to it. Adding the final feature here which is the graveyard of the house obviously where all the inhabitants have been buried over the years and it gives this bit of a spooky feel to it and then put some pumpkins around. So that is the building done itself. Now let's take a little cinematic showcase tour around here as I show you some more bits that I've built. Right, let's jump into that. So as we approach the house from the street I really wanted to make this view quite imposing. So the original building itself, the Vale Manor, really had this look of just sitting there hunched overlooking the landscape with its windows looking back into your soul. And that is what we've gone for here, that big central tower with the huge roof on top of it really has an imposing look about it. Now the rest of the landscape, as I mentioned, I wanted to go for quite a nice autumnal look to it. I've gone to make it look a bit more run down, a bit more unkept because it's got this Badlands look about it. Coming round to the back of the house here, we're going to go off into the little corner which is the small little cemetery. Now obviously the inhabitants of the house that used to live here now live in the graves, but their bones have been strewed around the place by grave robbers who have come through looking for the family jewels. As I mentioned, I'm going to do a showcase video on this, so make sure you check that out if you want to see what the inside of the house looks like, especially up and around that little wizard's tower there. Coming off around to the back of the house, I wanted to add some sort of ruins out here to make it feel a bit more creepy again. So this used to be the gardener's cottage, but it's now since fallen into disrepair. Sweeping back around the back end of the building, you start to see the forest opening up over there and also just this lovely light shaft coming through from the shaders as we capture more views of the house. So the colour palette I went for is just perfect for this colour scheme. Uh, I went for the, obviously the jungle planks and the, the blackstone roof as well. And sitting here, it just fits into this landscape so well. Now guys, I have really enjoyed building this house and I hope it's given you that sort of creepy look to it because to me this screams haunted manor. Anyway guys I'm going to leave you with some nice cinematic shots set to some music and I hope you've enjoyed watching now. Remember get inspired, get building and I'll see you next time. 